there's a massive surge of, of African fighters. Mm. Um, what do you attribute that to? Do you think there's a work ethic hidden behind there, or, or, or what would you say? Man, African women might be the hardest workers on the planet, if, I, if I'm being honest with you. I've seen mothers with a baby on their front and on their back carrying a big uh, like tray of plantains on their neck all day in the blazing heat. And that's just one person. And I've seen that, that work ethic through my people, through my parents. So yeah, it is passed down through us. When it like, I was not the best. I'm the runt of my people, if I'm being honest. So I wasn't always the hardest worker, but it's in me. It's in my DNA because I'm bred from that, from my parents, like I said. So yeah, when I know when it's time to work, I work. But there's, I, like I said, I'm the runt of my people, even physically. Like I'm not a specimen, the pick of the litter. So I've been back home last year and I saw people just rolling in the, in, in the ghetto and they probably don't have the best nutrition, but they're bodied up, 15 years old, bodied up, you know. So uh, I like the fact that um, Nigeria especially is getting privy to MMA because I'm telling you, man, it's game over like 50 Cent did when he dropped in the club for the rap game. It's game over when Nigerians start taking over again. I remember a while back, being from South Africa, you mentioned there was a, a time where you were in talks with the EFC here locally um, to possibly fight in South Africa. Yeah. Do you see that in your in your career, in your future, to headline inside, or it's not say, let's say Africa, uh, headline a UFC card in Africa before you're done with your career? Yeah, definitely. I feel like, I, 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 honestly, I'd love it to be in Nigeria, and that would be a dream. Someone asked me that question today. That would be a dream destination to, to fight in because I can just imagine the place erupting a whole stadium just going crazy of me knocking someone out or submitting someone but the problem is we are our own problem and I can say that freely even though some people might not like me saying that we might we are our own problem there's a lot of red tape in Nigeria and sometimes a little bit of corruption which is getting cleaned up but we are our own problem so I feel like South Africa might Still has its own problems, as every, every country in the world does. But South Africa has a booming MMA scene, like you said, with EFC. And it would be awesome to be there for a fight. But also, um, yeah, I think that would be one of the, the destinations in the future for the UFC when they, when they invade Africa. And the last one for me, Izzy, what advice would you have for, for young African fighters trying to make their way to the UFC? To the UFC, young African fighters. Find the right trainer. That's one thing I'd say. Like, find the right trainer. It's not about getting hit and hitting the other guy back. It's not about how hard you can hit or how tough you are. Those are all great attributes. But finding the right trainer, because I had that in my own career when I was living in Wanganui. My first trainer, I realized he just wanted me to do Muay Thai and I wanted to do MMA. He didn't even like me doing my first MMA fight. And I realized that he tried to shape me to fight like him, you know, his style. And I knew early on that this was not the guy to take me to where I need to go. So I went out and I seek the right trainer and I, I'm blessed that I found Eugene Behrman. So I tell them it'll be hard right now because it's a, it's a, it's a young sport in, in Africa in general. Um, but I'd say just seek the knowledge. The internet's your friend, YouTube is your friend, tutorials, um, DVDs, you know, a lot of people have them, but finding the right trainer who cares about um, who cares about technique rather than just toughness. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you, sir. Best of luck, and uh, Africa is behind you. What kind next year? Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you very much, Israel. You're all set. Yes. What a day.